Hello everyone. I hope you all are fit, fine and healthy at your home. Today we are going to learn science of class 7, lesson 7, weather, climate and adaptation in animals. So let's start our session. Before starting the class, let me tell you a story. Rahul is from Calcutta. He was going for an educational tour for the first time. For that, teacher asked all the students to carry woolen cloth. Rahul asked his teacher, why should we carry woolen cloth? It's already so hot outside. So what was his teacher reply? His teacher replied that they were going to a hill station and there the weather was very cold. Now let me explain to you what is weather. Weather is the day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere at a place with respect to the temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind speed, etc. It's called the weather of dead place. The terms like sunny, rainy, windy, etc. are used to mention the weather at a place. The temperature, humidity and other factors are called the elements of weather. We all must have come across weather reports in the newspaper. The newspaper generally gives a forecast about daily weather. The weather report gives information about the minimum and maximum expected readings of the elements like temperature. Then Rahul asks, why do we have such different weather conditions? The teacher replied, it is because of the elliptical orbit movement of the earth around the sun. Due to this uneven shape of the orbit, the amount of the sun rays and heat reaching the earth's surface from the sun differ. Due to this difference, we experience different weather and climate. In summer, sun rays are direct that cause high temperature. In winter, sun rays are not direct that cause low temperature. Then Rahul asks, why do we feel so sweaty here in Calcutta? The teacher replies, it's because of the humidity. Now let me explain to you about it. Humidity is the water vapor present in the atmosphere. Humidity indicates the likelihood of precipitation, dew or fog to be present. Let's understand how humidity is related to rainfall. When the humidity is at 100%, that is, while the clouds are unable to hold any more water, it rains. Rain is the condensation of water vapor and then becomes very healthy enough to fall under gravity. Let's understand how to measure these different elements of weather. As we know that the measure of temperature of a substance we use thermometer. Same, to measure humidity, we use humidity sensor. A humidity sensor or a hygrometer sends, measure and report both moisture and air temperature. It works by detecting changes that a large electrical current or temperature in the air. Rain gauge is a device for collecting and measuring the amount of rain that falls. 
Recording of rainfall using the extender or father rain goes is generally done manually. Let's see who report the weather conditions in India. So India Metrological Department, that is IMD, operates dedicated to weather and climate monitoring. Now let's understand what is climate. Climate means the usual condition of the temperature, humidity, wind, rainfall, etc. in an area for a long period of time of a place. It is said to be characteristic property of a specific place. Now let's understand the different climate conditions. If you find that the temperature at a place is high most of the time with very less rain, then the temperature of that place is hot and dry, as for example, desert. If there is a heavy rainfall, mostly with higher temperature, then the climate of that place is hot and wet, as for example, in Kerala. Northeastern India receives rain with the very little sun from a major part of the year. Therefore, the climate of the north is, is wet. Reason with low temperature and very low precipitation have cold and dry climate, as for example in Ladakh called desert. Now how animals living in a very cold and hot climate must possess special features to protect themselves against extreme cold or extreme hot or heat. In the polar region, polar bears and penguins have adapted to the very low temperature of the north and south pole. In the tropical region, because of the warmth and rain, this region supports a wide variety of plants and animals. Now, tropical rainforest. Forests in the tropical region have a warm, humid climate with plenty of sunlight and rainfall. The summer months are very hot and winter months are not very cold. These forests support a rich variety of life. Now let us know more about the hot and humid climate in the rainforest. The average temperature in tropical rainforests range from 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. That is almost 21 to 30 degrees Celsius. The environment is pretty wet in tropical rainforests, maintaining a high humidity of 77% to 88% year round. Therefore, we might feel very sweaty in the rainforest. The yearly rainfall range from 80 to 400 inches, that is almost 200 to 1000 centimeters. And it can rain hard. Animals are adapted to the climate and as per the requirement, like the red eyed frog, has streaky pads, monkeys have long tails, which helps monkeys to jump from one tree to another without getting down. The animals which are adapted to live among the trees, they are called arboreal animals. This reason supports wide varieties of plants 
and animals because of the continuous warmth and rain. Monkeys, tigers, apes, elephants, lions, leopards, lizards, etc. are few of the commonly found animals in the tropical rainforest. Let us learn about the adaptation of these animals. The climate condition of the rainforest are highly suitable for supporting a variety of animals. Because of the competitions for food, birds like dolphins have long, large beaks. It helps them take food from fruits or branches, which are otherwise difficult to catch. Many animals have sensitive hearing, sharp eyesight, thick and dark skin color, etc., to blend in with the surrounding and save themselves from the predators. Now, desert. In desert, both plants and animals can live without water for a long period of time. Food and water are in short supply in desert. Animals like lizards, fox, snakes, and several kinds of birds and insects live here. These animals are adapted to live with very little water and withstand extreme temperature. Now the question is, from where do they get water? As we know that the water is scarce in the desert, so most of the desert animals get their water from the food they eat. Some like the kangaroo race, get water from the food itself. Its favorite food is the seed which can absorb the moisture from the air. Many kangaroo rats can live its whole life without even drinking water. It does not sweat and its body produces concentrated urine to conserve the water. Even in reptiles like snakes, exerted water, the exerted waste from body is semi-solid, form of uric acid to conserve the water. The herbivorous camel also gets the water from its food. It has thick leaves. So it can chew the pickled desert plant, which stores water without feeling much pain. The camel can drive more than 40 liters of water at a time and go many days, even weeks, without drinking. It stores the fat in its hump and dead acts as a food reserve so it can survive many days without eating or drinking. Now the question is, how do desert animals prevent water loose from their body? Most desert animals live in burrows which do not get too hot or too cold. They stay in their burrows during the day and emerge at night to feed. This prevents water loose from the body due to extremes in temperature during the day. Most desert inhabitants have light colored skin which gives them cool by reflecting heat web. The kidneys of desert animals concentrated urine, so they lose little water. Camels are 
marvelously adapted to live in the sandy desert unlike most mammals the normal body temperature of a camel can change from 34 degrees celsius to 41.7 degrees celsius without having any effect on the body this helps it to maintain its body temperature close to the temperature of its surrounding without sweating as the temperature rise this helps it to conserve water now polar region the polar region have extreme climate the whole region is covered by snow and almost throughout the year it is cold sun does not set at the poles for 6 months but for the other 6 months there is no sunrise the temperature can be as low as minus 40 degree celsius 